Hey everyone, Red here, and welcome back to another Red's Requested. And today we have the Brutal ICU Plague build. So let's go ahead and break it down real quick. For our first perk, we have Plaything. The first time a survivor is hooked, they become cursed, and Hex Plaything is activated on Adult Totem. As long as this Hex is in play, that survivor is going to suffer from the Oblivious Status Effect. Second, we have Skirchuk Pain Resonance. The first time a survivor is hooked on a Skirchuk, the gem with the most progress is going to detonate for 20%. Third, we're running Grim Embrace. Every time a survivor is hooked for the first time, we'll gain a token. When we move 16 meters away from the hook, all gems we block for 10 seconds. Upon reaching four tokens, whenever we move 60 meters away, all gems will instead be blocked for 40 seconds, and the Obsession's Aura will be revealed for six seconds. Last but not least is Alien Instinct. After hooking a survivor, the aura of the farthest injured survivor will be revealed to us for 5 seconds and they'll suffer the oblivious status effect for 20 seconds. As far as add-ons, I'm going with Ashen Apple, which will start the trial with one additional pool of devotion already corrupted. And I'm going to be running with the Black Incense. Survivor's auras are revealed to us for 3 seconds whenever they vomit. If you have a build you want to see on the channel, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. If it looks like fun, you might just see it here. Much love. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. All right, and it looks like we have Midwitch for our first game. You'd love to see it. Uh, Midwitch is a pretty decent map for the build. Ooh, we actually got a survivor already. Chilling over here. This is a very fast spine. It's exactly what we won pretty much every game. Hey, you there? Oh, yep, you are definitely there. All right, we stayed here. Uh, we'll throw up on that just in case. We even got her. That's nice. I really just wanted the pallet that way if she threw it, but we'll see if we can get a little bit more here. Thank you. I didn't really want to be on this side, but it works. Now I think you're going to try and stay here, though. Yep. There we go. Honestly, going for a swing there might have been better than trying to go for the break because then she would have been stuck on that side either way. There we go. Ooh, you got another pallet, though. No drop. Ooh, rough. Got kind of clipped in there. Does she drop? She does. Awesome. And then she went for, like, the uh, little fake there. We'll take it. They do have three toolboxes, so I got to be a little quick. Uh, they could still pop a gen. All right, and there goes our first one. Toolboxes can always be pretty strong early game. And as long as they're not like built to last, we'll be okay. And we do have a little bit of regression thanks to Pain Res. Grim Embrace will buy us a little bit of time. But not like a crazy amount. We have some distance here. How we go? Right over here? Cool. Oh, did we just run out? Oh, whoa, those scratch marks are wonky. Thankfully, we came back in and around. Come here, gamer there i could leave it but we'll hold it forward for now nice i want to chase it the other way that we kind of have her pinched into the room this works too though almost man so close she's gotta be sitting right there from being broken everyone is also infected now which is great all right let's just go ahead and get back here oh uh, we gained a little bit of distance off that but not much there goes the break. And there we go. Love to see it. Hopefully we have a pain res nearby. That was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Hopefully. Nice. I don't see where we're at with Alien Instinct. Ooh, I think we were behind that gen over there to the right. But that's okay. We're going to go here. Because I can hear you. Not fully infected yet. Nice. I'll need to break this later. But for right now, we want to try and stay in chase while we have somebody hooked up. Even if she comes back here and plays on it. Gotta try and hold it forward. It won't take too long for her to get broken. There we go. Now we'll break this. I just don't want to be able to hold forward and get to like a very safe tile. But forcing her to play here isn't too bad because we can kind of force her into the 50-50. Oh, nice gamble on that. Doesn't hold it forward. Alright, we're gonna try and pinch her here. Not moving over. There we go. We want her to be pinched right here. If we allow her to be able to go anywhere else, we waste a lot more time. And we're by the gen 
right over here. So I don't want to do this pain res. We'll go to this one. They're working on that gen right now thanks to the add-on. We can see it. And I'm assuming it hit that gen. We should see her run out. There she is. No pre-drop. That's a little risky because I can grab our pool right here real quick. All right. Now we got the corrupt purge. We should be feeling pretty good. We just got to get a nice little open line of sight. And be careful not to get stunned. She might be sitting on that ball. We'll see. Yep, she sat in the vault. Oh, you got a little bit more distance than I thought you would, though. Nice. I should have moved that a little bit to the left. Oh, there was something in my way. All right. Just had to be a little bit mindful of the pallet. There we go. Two survivors down below. Uh, oh, man. Did I already hook this survivor? I think so. So we're probably not getting a pain res, but we'll hook up right here anyways. Yep. The question is, do they greet it? If they greet it, we might be looking pretty good here. Because then we can go for the two for one. Oh, it's so close. Hold up, hold up. Hi. And that is going to be some pain rest value right there. First, we're going to attack this. And that is a plague snowball. That's exactly what you want to see whenever you're playing plague. Getting amazing value off of your corrupt purge. Now, the problem is, I believe there's only one survivor I haven't hooked on Pain Res. I believe it's our obsessive. Nope, I was wrong. It was that survivor. They're up above, though, so we're good. I could go over there. I think I'm going to try and go upstairs. Wait, we jump down. Want to drop it? Nope, cool. It would have been nice if we could have got her to drop it, but that'll be just fine. All right, the obsession is moving around. I'm going to try and walk to the side here. She's going to body block it. That's fine. We got him kind of frantic right now. There we go. That'll work. I don't really need to do anything too special here. Yeah, you can see they're running. They're uh, frantic at the moment. One survivor over there. That's fine. We got both of them thanks to the add-on. This survivor can, might be able to, you know, see me from here, or at least peek me. Yeah, I sure he held forward. We're going to try and go for the other survivor. Oh, you're working on the totem. That is even better. Hey, gamer. There it is. Cool. And that's going to be the first survivor out. First, we're going to break this. And then what I want to do is come over here and grab our corrupt purge. Awesome. And now we can go ahead and hook this survivor up. Not too bad. A great way just to immediately turn a game on its head. One survivor getting rid of their infection. That's fine. Ooh, we have you working on the totem. And that is why the black incense add-on is so strong. Oh, really? Well, the death saving her. How much distance did we actually get? Oh, quite a bit. Yeah, I guess I might as well go home and hook up. But we're also up there. By the time that I hook her up, though, we should be fine. Like, hopefully she will uh, get broken, and that way we can get the alien instinct on her. Yeah, there she goes. Awesome. Nice. And she's just vibing right here. So, we'll go through the doorway here. We gotta break both of these, though. Hello? What's going on, gamer? No, she's either sleeping or calling it. This gen, though, is almost done, too. They definitely had a lot of gen pressure coming into the game, but we're able to halt it up. There you go. Wow, even this gen had a lot of pressure. Yeah, we actually had like two or three gens that had a lot of pressure already. Yeah, even this one over here is about 70% as well. Yeah, they were definitely cranking on the gens. Oh, looks like we're over here. Oh, you're already on the hatch. Fair enough. Works for us, though. There is our first game. So we are now ready to go on and get into our next. And for game number two, we have, well, the game. So you love to see it. We got a few gens right here that we can go ahead and throw up on. As long as we see the contagious tag, we're good. Now, if they happen to get past us, we can at least get a little bit of the infection value. We got some scratch marks right here. A little bit of gen progress over there. Someone running upstairs. There we go. Oh, hi. How you doing? Don't mind me. Oh, yeah. Just just take all of the green vial. Ah, 
I'm sure this is what parents mean when they say, you know, eat your greens, right? Oh, nice. You think she drops? Oh, she is a greeter. I don't know what you're greeting for. It's the game. You got like 30 of them. A little bit of pain rest. Oh, somebody got tagged. Oh, man, really? I need to be just a slightly lower to be able to hit that gen. There's one survivor. There we go. That's fair. We'll go ahead and push her up the actual... Okay, you gotta go for the drop. There it is. Now we can leave it. She'll become injured later, so I'm not too worried about it. Ooh, and we got the save right away. I could go for you, but I'm really not that interested in this survivor. I'm trying to be nice. Oh, but you just went up this way. I should just held forward. Uh, we got the pallet. Nice drop. We actually have everybody over here. She went and worked back on Jen. That's fine. Emma, come over here and get our corrupt purge real quick. So we'll venture back this way. No big deal. Oh, hold up. Hi. Thank you. Oh, really? Did she get broken as that hit her? Or like just after it hit her? That's unfortunate. Need a better angle, I think, to be able to throw up through that. There goes one play thing. That's fine. And best of luck. There we go. Out in the open is definitely a scary place to be against. Plague with her corrupt. At least we get another uh, pain res, though. Where are we? We got one survivor right here. If I had corrupt, we could have went for like, a fun shot. But I think she's just going to run back to the double pallet setup uh, right here. I bet we can get her to drop it here, though. We conditioned her, I think, pretty well last time, right? Yeah, we did. There it is. Oh, bummer. Oh, well, it works out. It's all the same. We got someone getting the save right over there. I want to keep an eye on where they're heading off. One ran more to us. I'm just hoping it was the Michaela. It was. Awesome. What's going on? And you know what? I could use this. Thank you. Wow. That's got to feel so bad for the Michaela. Like, could you imagine? Like, you're like, oh, hey, you know what? I'll be safe here. And then your, ally, your teammate is just like... Oh yeah, here, let me get the one thing that will completely screw you over. To the left, we have you there. Already dropped down, fair enough. Don't know why I thought that was a drop down, but I did. Where we at? Here you are. We got corrupt for a little bit longer here. Looking for that stun. Cannot give it to you, though. There's just nowhere to go. Oh, nice. Off the record. Bummer. There we go. Oh, hi. Oof. Uh, I only got like an extra second here. There we go. I don't have anything else, so he can go ahead and get the save here. I want to hook this survivor up real quick. Uh, up you go. And now everyone is injured. And she's all the way over there in the corner. I wonder if I can make it over there before, like, the Oblivious runs out. Because by getting her, she'll be out of the game, so... And she hasn't moved just yet. Oh, there she is. Yeah, it was too late. I bet the Oblivious came up just there, too, where she started running. All right, it's time for you to go to next game. There we go. One survivor there. I don't know who was hit by instinct. I guess we'll find out in a second. Is he already moving? Yeah, he, he's already gotten distance. So I doubt he was the one hit with alien instinct. Who's this, though? Hi. I think she still has her plaything up. It might have been alien instinct, but I'm going to put money on plaything. The other survivor is right nearby, but I do want to go over here and grab our corrupt purge. There we go. Because now we can even threaten to put the game away if they make a big enough mistake. Like coming to hook. Oh, no. Thank you. And there he is. 
Ooh, wait, does he know yet? He hasn't started running up yet. Hold on. Nice. And now he block it. No. And GG's. And there we go. That is today's build. The games were pretty quick, but play can be one heck of a snowball killer. Overall, I hope you guys all try this build out in your games. What do you think down in the comment section below? Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red, and I'm signing off.